Exciting news for those in the autism community. A new program making it easier to learn how to drive. Designed specifically for those with autism who just want to become more independent. And it's all possible through a new partnership between Vanderbilt and San Diego State University. Our Nikki Hauser stopped by the lab at Vanderbilt to see how it all works. Navigating Nashville roads can be stressful for anyone, but maybe especially for drivers with autism. You're scared, you feel anger, you, you know, feel all these emotions. Make a right turn ahead. It's why Vanderbilt University had a hand in creating this. A driving simulator made specifically for autistic learners. Has there ever been anything like this? No, to our knowledge. Professor Nilanjan Sarkar, who's worked on the model for 10 years, says people with autism can experience anxiety or distraction more intensely than others. That makes driving a much harder feat. Although many of the over 5 million U.S. adults living with autism want to work and live independently, Sarkar says the ability to drive has been a major roadblock. First part to get a job is to be able to go to the job. So independent transportation is key to employment. But the new video game-like simulator not only gives drivers a safe place to practice. Okay, so we have Devin wearing a physiology tracker. Adjoining technology shows instructors how scared or stressed they might be feeling and if they're paying attention to the road. So if we're able to track their anxiety and stress, they might be able to learn what's causing it. Only eight simulators are being tested in the U.S. so far. One of them right here at ABS Kids in Nashville, where two groups have already completed the class. We have one one participant who actually already had a driver's license and um, he was having to bike everywhere because he was so anxious to actually drive. And so he came here to learn how to get more comfortable with driving. So it's not even all the time teaching them how to drive, it's teaching them how to deal with the emotions that come with driving. Once they're able to do that. You think of the personal gain as well as societal gain. The hope is they'll be able to navigate just about anywhere. Nikki is with us now. Driving is a privilege, but so many of us take it for granted. This is a great program, and it's been underway for a little while, right? It, it has been since last year, okay. and it's just such an exciting time for them. It was great talking with them. For the next six months, they're going to be testing this out at several different locations. And then it's exciting because they um, are hoping to take these simulators nationwide to any nonprofits, schools, organizations that will take them. A model project to help so many others. Exactly. Nikki, thanks. Of course.